everyone or hi everybody hi <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I say um, I'm Nona Grace and I'm from Western <laughs> New York <laughs> I lost my tolo because I've got a piece of paper in my hands and this is what I'm thinking today I'm going to do the the tag the holiday tag it's called that Lori from Fluffy No Mo has given me and I'm going to go through it really fast because a lot of them are I don't have. And so um, this way, and then I will elaborate on a couple of them after I'm done with the tag. But I'll do them in order and I'll put the questions underneath in the more section so you can find it. So this tag, I was tagged by, Fluff, by Lori from Fluffy No Mo. Okay, that, and it's a holiday tag. Now, favorite Christmas song? I like... Mary, did you know? I almost forgot. <laughs> I've gone over this a little bit with my daughter, who is in the other room. But it was Mary, did you know? And what can always put you in a Christmas spirit? Boy, I can't read either. And I told her just Christmas music puts me in a Christmas spirit. Gift traditions that you started? There's no gift traditions. Favorite Christmas story? I liked Twas the Night Before Christmas and All Through the House. A creature's not stirring, not even a mouse. I know we used to know that by heart. I still know pretty much all of it. Um, we used to have a we used to have a challenge between me and my brothers and sisters, and we'd see who could say it the fastest and with no mistakes. Best Christmas gift. My best Christmas gift was my fishing pole when I was in fourth grade. I had asked for a fishing pole, and I got a fishing pole. How you found out about Santa? I don't know what they're talking about there. I I don't know what you mean about what I about what. How you found out about Santa? What did Santa do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, he's he's up in the North Pole. In case you wonder where Santa is, he's up in the North Pole. I'm sure working very very very, very hard. hard. Yep, and he's trying to gain weight because he's got to fit in that suit. Weirdest and worst Christmas gift? I don't have one. Traditional Christmas breakfast. For breakfast, when I was growing up, we would always have toast, coffee milk, eggs, and apricots because apricots was supposed to have the nice vitamin A for your skin. So we always had that. Favorite Christmas smell? I don't have one. Favorite Christmas candle scent? I don't have one of those either. Funniest Christmas memory? This one I will come back to, but this is about Lucy and a piece of coal. Um, gift traditions you grew up with? Well, we used to do the socks, and I mean socks. When you took off your sock, or it was a clean sock, it wasn't one that you took off, but it was a clean sock of your sock, and you hung it on the clothesline that was in the dining room because we used to have a wood stove, and in the winter or rainy days, sometimes we'd hang something up there that needed to dry up real fast because the wood stove was there and it, the heat was great. And there was a clothesline there. Well, we used to hang our sock there. And in your sock, you got apple, orange, nuts, and a banana. Not any toys. There was no toys ever in those socks. But you got the real stuff in the socks. That's what socks were supposed to be. Those people that hang stockings and get all these goodies in them that are presents. That's not what we got. We got fruit, nuts, and then... When we got up, we used to empty them out and put them in a bowl, in the big bowl, and, and everybody used to share. Um, favorite Christmas decoration? Well, that's my angel bell. I'll have to show you that in a little bit. Um, favorite Christmas movie? I really don't have one. Favorite holiday drink? I don't have one. What was the Christmas like growing up? I can come back to that one. Stay in your pajamas or a dress up? We had to dress up. Favorite Christmas craft? I don't have one. Favorite line in the holiday movie? Well, the favorite line in the holiday movie is Every time you hear the bell ring, an angel gets its wings. And I'll show you my bell. Okay, 
here's the bell. Doesn't it sound like the one in the movie? Every time you hear the bell ring, an angel gets its wing. And my kids used to go, actually, maybe that's a tradition. They used to tell them, ring the bell so an angel can get its wings. Um, favorite Christmas treat? I don't have one Christmas Eve tradition. Well, when I was growing up, we'd all have go to Midnight Mass, and then we would have um, food and wine, a lot of food and wine afterwards. Um, I have to rename an, a reindeer. I will name it Jolly. If you could spend Christmas anywhere, where would it be? I would spend it here. And when do you put up your Christmas tree? Well, usually. I put it up the week before, but this time I pulled it out of the bathroom and just put it up. I didn't put up the big tree, I just have the little one. And that little tree is up all year round and that's got my my kids' things that they made on it is what it has on it. And the little bell that they like to ring. Okay, I was going to go back to the funniest Christmas memory and that was when Lucy got a piece of coal. My, Lucy was my youngest sister. And we used to be told if we were naughty, you were going to get a coal in your sock. Well, apparently she got a piece of coal in her sock. And in her sock was also a note in her stocking, the stocking that has the fruit in it. Okay. And there was a note too. And that note told her to go to a certain spot. And when she got there, she found another note. And that note sent her another, another place. It's like a sort of like a scavenger hunt. And by the time she found the last note, it had a present with it. And the present, when she opened it up, it was a mop head. You know those string mops? That's what was in the, in the present, a mop head. So she got the coal, but she also got a mop head. She got other things too, even though. But that was, we all got a kick out of that because that was the funny thing. And what was Christmas like growing up? We would get up in the morning and go to 8, eight o'clock mass. Then we'd come home, eat our breakfast, do the dishes, and then wait for everybody to be in the living room, and then we would open the presents. But as I got older, because I had to work, everybody would, we'd wait for all the, my brothers and sisters to come, or brothers, maybe my sister too. Yeah, Anita had to come. Yeah. Um, and all their kids come, and they had to wait for me to get home from work, because I worked, and um, then we would open up the presents and we would all have dessert together. We, my parents didn't cook dinner for everybody on Christmas. We just would, they would all just come for dessert because we were getting up to almost 40 people. It was quite a few people. So we used to just go for dessert. So that's what the Christmas was like when I was growing up. Well, I guess that is my video for today. I don't know how fast I, I went through this list pretty fast. I probably should tag some people. Hmm. Who shall I tag? Let me think. <laughs> I didn't prepare that part. Um, let's tag. Rusty? Yes, Rusty. Rusty. We can do Rusty. Rusty's, Rusty's a good Rusty's one. Rusty's good. Yes. Rusty from the Ozark Duke. I would like to tag you. And so that's who I'm tagging to do this, this um, Christmas. Christmas holiday tag. Holiday. I will put the questions in there, Rusty, and I'm hoping you do the tag. You've got a lot of good stories that you can share and a lot of good, I'm sure, holiday things that you do. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Actually, I wave with this hand. Bye-bye. No, which hand? Bye-bye. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Goodbye.